In this video, you will allow remote users to access your internal network using an SSL VPN, connecting by web mode or by tunnel mode using FortiClient. Web mode allows users to access network resources, such as the Internal Segmentation Firewall, or ISFW, used in this example. Users connecting via tunnel mode will be able to access the internet, but with all of their traffic passing through the FortiGate, protected by the FortiGate's security profiles and policies. The FortiGate will also verify that the remote user's antivirus software is installed and up to date. This example assumes that you've already created an SSL user account and an SSL users group. First, go to VPN SSL VPN portals and edit the full access portal which allows use of both tunnel and web mode. Disable split tunneling, so that all of the remote user's traffic will be processed by the FortiGate. Set the source IP pools to use the default IP range SSL VPN Tunnel Addresses 1. Under predefined bookmarks, select Create New to add a new bookmark. Bookmarks are shortcut links to internal network resources for web mode users. In this example, we will add a bookmark to allow users to manage the ISFW FortiGate, setting the type to HTTP, HTTPS, and specifying the IP of the device. Once you've created the bookmarks you want, save your changes. Next, go to VPN SSL VPN Settings to configure the VPN tunnel settings. Set Listen On interfaces to your internet facing interface. To avoid port conflicts, set the Listen On port to 10443, and set Restrict Access to allow access from any host. In this example, the Fortinet factory certificate is used as the server certificate. It is, however, recommended that you purchase a certificate for your own domain and upload it to use with your VPN tunnel. Under Tunnel Mode Client Settings, set the IP ranges to use the same IP range that you selected earlier. Under Authentication Portal Mapping, create a new rule, selecting the SSL Users Group and mapping it to the Full Access Portal. If necessary, map a portal for all other users and groups. And save your changes. Now go to Policy and Objects, Addresses, to add an address for the local network. Set the type to IP Netmask, set the subnet IP range to your local subnet, and the interface to your internal port interface. Save the address. Go to Policy and Objects IPv4 Policy to create two firewall policies. The first will allow access to the internal network through the VPN tunnel interface. Enter a policy name that identifies what the policy will do. Set the incoming interface to the SSL root interface and outgoing interface to the local interface. Set source to all and then add the SSL VPN users group. Set destination address to the local address that you created. Service to all. And enable NAT. Configure the rest as desired. And save the policy. Now create a second policy which will allow SSL VPN access to the internet. Set the incoming to SSL root outgoing to your internet facing interface, add the user group as a source, and set destination to all. Configure the rest, and save the policy.
Lastly, go to the dashboard to enable antivirus enforcement on the remote user's computers. Open the CLI console and enter the following commands. Config VPN SSL web portal. Edit full dash access. Set host dash check AV. End. First, test web mode by opening a supported web browser. Connect to the SSL VPN web portal by visiting the remote gateway IP and port that you configured in the SSL VPN settings, and enter the SSL VPN user's credentials to authenticate and log into the web portal. Selecting the ISFW bookmark will allow you to connect to the FortiGate. To connect to the internet, choose Quick Connection. Select HTTP HTTPS. Enter the URL, select Launch, and the website will load. Once you're connected, open the FortiGate and go to Monitor SSL VPN Monitor and see the user connected to the VPN. Now test out Tunnel Mode. Open FortiClient. If you don't have it, you can download it from FortiClient.com. Go to Remote Access and add a new connection. Set the VPN type to SSL VPN. Set Remote Gateway to the IP of the listening FortiGate interface and customize the port to set it to the port that you specified in SSL settings. Select Add and connect using the SSL VPN user's credentials. You will connect to the VPN tunnel and now all of your traffic will be protected by the FortiGate. Back in the FortiGate interface at Monitor SSL VPN Monitor, you can see the tunnel mode user connected to the VPN. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. And you can find a written version of this recipe on cookbook.fortinet.com.